Jerron Boots Ennis beats Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford like easy work. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Cardinal Red, Cardinal Red Sports. Let's talk about it. All right, y'all. So, rumors, rumors, rumors are floating around after Jerron Ennis has signed with Matram Boxing. Big things coming his way. A lot of fans feel like Boots is the second coming of Terrence Crawford, maybe. Muhammad Ali, maybe. But I think people actually believe he beats both Spence and Crawford with ease. I just want to break down that. Give my 7,000 nickels for anybody. Lift. I've been telling the world about Boots since Bob Aaron tried to get him to walk out with Crawford. And you know, Bozy and Boots said, what y'all trying to do? They said, hell no, we ain't walking out Crawford. But all that being said, Boots is the one that beat Crawford. All right, so Boots in his Earl Spence turns Crawford. Who wins? What's really going on? Good to see you all and bad to see you all. You hateful, diabolical sons of bitches. So a lot of people believe that Boots Ennis would beat Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford. I mean, this is some shameful shit. And I just want to give my two nickels on whether that is true or not. You know, to be honest with you, I do think he's like slightly more talented than Terrence Crawford. As much as people love Terrence Crawford and say he's the pinnacle of boxing because he can switch and he has power, he has a good chin. You know, he's got great ring IQ. He's a good boxer. People feel like Boots is actually a step above that. He actually has real power. What if I throw these up in your face, huh? He has real power in both hands. He's not just a sometimes switch hitter. He's a switch hitter. Like, he'll throw a combination and finish in the opposite stance from what he started the combination in. So he's a true switch hitter. He can go either way. Left, right hand, left foot, right foot, and he can throw with power. So a lot of people feel like that that's a better version of Terrence Crawford. Let me say something. Let me say something. So if him and Terrence Crawford got into the ring, logically you would say that not only is Boots a better version than Terrence Crawford, he's a younger version of Terrence Crawford at his best. I'm so depressed I can't even blame. So if they got in the ring together, it's going to be a disaster for Terrence Crawford. I know a lot of Terrence Crawford fans don't want to hear that, want to believe that, but it just is what it is. Boots is on another level. If Crawford is 1A of, you know, boxing skills with, you know, speed, power, and all these other intangibles, then Boots is 1A+. plus. He's just a, a level above Terrence Crawford. Kiss my converse. Because he's younger, number one, and he can throw with power with both hands off either foot. Oh, shit. So I think that spells trouble for Terrence Crawford. God, if you listen Help! As far as Earl Spence goes, listen, I've always had one critique about Earl Spence. It's always been the footwork for me. You know, I never liked what I saw from Earl Spence's footwork. But when people explain to me, you know, that's how he uh, controls the ring. That's how he throws with power. That's just how he paces himself to go all 12 rounds. And I said, okay, you know, if it works for him, as long as it's working then I won't complain about it. But I said that Manny Pacquiao would beat him because he would tie those feet up. And that's kind of what Terrence Crawford did. He was just overwhelming Earl Spence with a little bit of everything. And if Terrence Crawford was able to pull that off, you know, versus Spence, I can imagine what Boots would be able to pull off <laughs> versus Spence. What'd you just say? You sick sons of bitches. I think it would be close to what I thought Pacquiao would do to him because of the footwork of Pacquiao. And Boots can throw from either hand. Boots throws with power. Boots has speed. You know, the things he did when he fought, um, it wasn't his last fight, but the fight before that where he just took, I think it was Curran, he just took Curran apart and 
when he went into the robot dance and started just beating on him, it was amazing to watch. <laughs> so I think that that's Boots Ennis in a nutshell, man. And he could tangle up the feet of Spence and, and really give Spence some problems. Now, if Spence is able to land on him and, and break him down, then it's a whole different story. No, you know what? You, you're just as crazy as the people on Twitter. No. If Crawford's able to outthink him and, and use... You know, all his experience in the boxing ring, then it's a different story. But I think the youth, the power, and the abilities of Jerron Boots Ennis would outweigh both of those guys. You care too much to win. You can win all the ingredients been out here to win. You know winners. You can connect it, uh, you know, with all type of things that you needed to connect with to win. I mean, we got to know where this where money going to. But you care too much. You care about how they're going to look at you, how you're going to be accepted. I mean, we got to know where this, where this money going to. Uh, by a bunch of people that really don't matter. You know, the whole it crowd, you know, that's played out. You know, the it crowd out here, they just, they suffer. I'm talking about they on, they on life support. I mean, we got to know where this, where this money going to. They don't even matter no more. The smart people is beating everybody. So the cool shit, you're done. I mean, we got to know where this, where this money going to. You're done. You're done, done. The cool and the tough shit and just being a part of this. This it crowd, they're, they're, they're holding on for dear life. I mean, we got to know where this, where this money going to. They don't even matter in the grand scheme no more. Mm. Think about it. The smart people is winning out here. Y'all let me know what y'all think about all that down in the comment section below. Hit the like button for me. Sure, sure, sure. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Holler at me on all social media platforms. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. But you're more than likely to get a response on the dudes or all that at me over. So if you want to collab or feature a product or your channel on my channel, feel free to hit my Gmail because it is a flock of cards at gmail.com. And we are... Don't try this at home. Niggas act hard, try to make their lifestyle tougher. Go and get their head busted like a lifestyle rubber. And you might sound tougher if you want a little more like me. Ain't no telling where your whore might be on them bill streets. Them niggas don't fuck around. Have your ass in the wheelchair, buckle down. Paralyzed from the belly button down. Riding through the park, showing off your hub around. Shit, young niggas don't play. Nigga like me come through with a K. Young keys go bar for bar. The reason your favorite rappers in the armor car. Uh, I'm trying to conquer the ville and move on. Fuck stepping, I got my ass kicking shoes on. After that, I'm getting a new fur. Y'all remind me of a nigga that do her. Chances are you're probably gay. Keys play too much is what you probably say, but hey, uh, I just gotta be Mike Man. I'm Grammy as the alleys at night, man. I'm about to get it popping like raggedy bike chains. Oh, let me catch my breath. You're about to catch your death from Young Keys, the freestyle emperor, pimping your chicken bra, and I'm slipping dick in her. This is for my cousin Wayne. Back in '98, some busters slayed him. Uh, July 25. 